Joining us from Atlanta, we are pleased to say, is Dr. David Satcher, the former Surgeon General of the United States, also the former head of the CDC, and now on the campus of Morehouse University. And Dr. Satcher, it is an honor to interview you, but I want to begin with the news of the day, which is that as you look at the landscape, are you screaming at the television set as much as a lot of us are? Well, um, I guess I'm not because uh, I've seen so many things in the past. I witnessed so many changes. Uh, and even though I confess that I have not been in the middle of a pandemic before, however, uh, I've fought diseases like polio and Ebola in Africa and other places in India. So, um, but I have to admit that this particular COVID-19 this pandemic is a new challenge for all of us. But uh, uh, I guess I've gotten to the age now where um, it takes a lot to get me upset. So Dr. Satcher, if this pandemic has proven anything, it is that there is a disparity in healthcare among black Americans and among white Americans. How do we fix it? Well, I, I think uh, that was the intent of Healthy People 2010. There are only two goals of Healthy People 2010. The first goal was to improve the quality of life that people live and not just the years. We were getting older in America, but by the same token, the quality of life was not improving, it was decreasing. Different racial and ethnic groups. And we did the study showing that because of disparities, every year 83,000 more African Americans die in this country than, than would die if we had the same life expectancy as the majority population. So we've tried a lot of things. We've had a lot of specific objectives. One of the most important things that we've tried is to change the health system so that uh, people would not have barriers to getting care. And of course, and President Obama came along and with the Affordable Care Act. And that was probably the major attempt that's been made to solve the problem of access to health care. But as you know, uh, things don't completely get done in one administration. So um, Congress has made some attempts to reverse that. They have not done it yet. We still have the Affordable Care Act. Uh, which some people call Obamacare, and um, Obama certainly was committed to that. But uh, we have problems with Congress now in terms of supporting and backing that. As you know, the old saying, where there's a will, there's a way. Nowadays, there's a way. But even when you look at what Congress is trying to do to Obamacare, do you think that there is a will? And if there's not a will, how do we address this disparity in health care that COVID uh, has, has exposed? Well, uh, now let's just make it clear that access to care is only one of the strategies for reversing it. We have a lot of other things to do. We've got to deal with the social determinants of health, you know, and that, that has to do with where people live, whether children are safe, whether they have a place to play, you know, whether they have schools nearby and do they have good nutrition, all of those things are critical. And it, they were outlined in the Surgeon General's report on childhood obesity. Um, but we've got to start early if we're going to eliminate disparities in health. We've got to start, you know, with pregnancy and then very early childhood. We've got to deal with how children eat, how they play, where they play, are they safe? And um, so we have a lot of work to do still. Dr. We've got a lot to overcome. Dr. Satch, we're going to take a break and when we come back, I want to talk about your own personal experience and how this a healthcare crisis actually affected you from early on. So stay with us. We'll be right back.